Hello everyone, and welcome to a game that I wanted to play a little bit through. It's a game I picked up quite a while ago, for one reason. This game was made by the original developers and programmers that made Diablo 2, and Diablo 1 to a certain extent. Um, it came out about the same time as Diablo 3, or shortly thereafter, I believe. And a lot of people were saying, like, man, those of you out there who hate Diablo 3 because it is so different from Diablo 2 will love this game. So, I haven't played a whole ton of it, honestly. I, way back when I picked it up, I may have played a couple hours and that's it. Um, I don't know why. So, without further ado, let's get started in a new game. Welcome to Torchlight 2. Ember Mage, trained in arcane arts, Ember Mages employ a variety of elemental spells to deadly effect. And they appear to have a pet badger. Or everyone has a pet badger, maybe. Berserker, Brutal and Swift. Berserkers call upon powerful beast magic to augment their deadly combat skills. Engineer, equipped with ember powered weapons and armor, engineers keep. Frontier in working order, and they fight with a giant pipe wrench. <laughs> Outlander. These guns. Okay, that's cool. Think we're gonna play Engineer, mostly because the weapon looks awesome. <clears throat> um, let's okay. Let's see what we have here. So there's the Mario face. I think I do like the one it popped up with first. I think it's kind of fun with the monocle there and everything. Yeah, I think we're going to go with bald. I think that was the best look here. Brown hair, yes, there we go. We have our engineer. What's the name here? I think we're going to go ahead and name him Wolfgang. Pet! Oh, this is where I can change my pet. Oh, we can get a bulldog pull. Alpaca? I literally have a pet alpaca. Panther. Stag. This is my pet deer. Say hello. This is my pet thing. Um, okay. <laughs> Cute. Ferret. Hawk. Head crab from, uh. Oh, what was that game called? Shoot. By Valve. Literally, most famous game. But that's okay. I can't remember what it's called right now. Half Life. That is from Half Life. Badger. Owl. In case I wanted to get my letter from Hogwarts early. Wolf. Or a panda. That's a huge variety of selection right there, I think. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what I think. Hmm. Bulldog? Alpaca? I think we need to have a cool pet. So we're going to get the panda. Only one appearance for the panda? What other kind of appearances can we get? Alpaca? Only one? Panther? A couple different panther skins. Okay. Deer? Bulldog? You know what? I think we're going to take the bulldog. I think it matches my character perfectly, so... Okay. Wolfgang and his pet dog. Hmm. I'm going to call him Mopple. Mopple. Come on, Mopple. Difficulty. We have players with the voyages. If you're fun, with action without deeper challenge. Best for first-time players. Normal mode presents a wide range of challenge without requiring in-depth knowledge of the game. Well, I have played Diablo before, but we're going to go ahead and throw it on normal, and if it's too easy, we will up the difficulty. And we're going to play a single-player game today, and maybe we'll pick up some friends in the future and see if they want to play. 
your pets can now buy basic items like potions and scrolls. Da, 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 da. Deep beneath torchlight, a darkness gathered. Three heroes confronted the beast called Ordrock. Yet even in death, Ordrock's corrupted heart endured and called out. done it in a cartoony style. I like it. That was very cool. Alright, so yeah. Very Diablo-esque. I like it. Except for, instead of, like, a sword, I have a pipe wrench. Which is great. And I have a dog. Come on, puppy. Come on, muppel. Muppel. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave. But you're on your own. Warn them that the alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. Alright, so basically... Big dude destroyed town or organization? I don't know, I've never played Torchlight 1, so that might be something I'm missing. Ooh, I like how quickly I move, actually. That's a nice thing that some dungeon crawlers get wrong, I think, where you move so slowly. Okay, what do I have for abilities? That's just a portal, it's a health potion. Uh, what's this do? Flame Hammer, rank 1. I'll bet you this is right click and this is left click, maybe? Maybe these are right click, left click? And that's just. I don't know. Well, we're gonna learn. Ow. My dog killed that before I could. My hammer's so slow. Hammer is not a hammer. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right click is ability on the right. And then left click does other things. It's just like a basic melee attack. Okay. Can we see what kind of abilities I get. That's what I'm talking about. Because that's already cool. I mean, look at the impact that my weapons and abilities have. That is something that I was talking about when I was playing Last Epoch. Is that abilities need to have like this smack, you know? Big impact. And this weapon feels powerful. Like, you should be scared of my pipe wrench. I use it to fix pipes. And your face. <laughs> uh, your mana is low. Yeah, okay, understood. It also regenerates over time. Okay, I thought that maybe for a second there it wouldn't. I'm just kind of exploring because that's how I uh, treated Diablo 2, and I think that's how. Maybe this game should be treated too. Oh, 
Oh, there's a group of them. Nice. I like that ability. You've gained a level. Click on the level up button at the bottom of your side of the screen to apply your newfound wisdom. Is it really wisdom? Over here. Gotcha. Alright, weapon damage, dexterity. Okay, weapon damage increases all weapon damage as well as the amount of bonus damage done when performing critical strikes. Okay. Um, dexterity increases the chance to perform critical strikes and dodge enemy attacks. Focus. Increases mana and all elemental damage focuses. Also increase the chance to execute. Cool. Armor. I think we're going to focus on these two because that's kind of fun. Let's add a point to focus. How many points do I have to apply here? Five. Okay. Well, we're just going to switch back and forth here. Maybe try to keep everything equal at first, because I don't know what I'm doing. Looks like I can just change it at any time. There's not a lock in any way. I can just say, for now, I want to have, you know, focus or something. I would think that I would have gotten a new ability as well. Or is it just... Oh, mopple. Okay, attack speed bonus. Like, it looks like there's room for new abilities, but maybe I don't get them every level? Alright, we'll figure it out as we go. Nice. Ooh, spacebar does that. It's not an auto pickup. But that's kind of nice that it does that. Let's not look at my... Two-handed. Very slow attack speed. Phase 90% interrupt the chance. But I like my wrench. I don't want to have a sword. Uh, but the sword is better. 34 damage per second. Slightly faster attack speed. Does slightly less damage per hit. You know what? We're going to stick with the wrench for now because I don't think the increase is all that much, and so far. Things have just melted when I've, you know, swung my mighty wrench at them. The mighty wrench! <laughs> oh, I like it. What's this down here? Gains charge by damaging enemies up to a maximum of five charges. If charges are available, certain skills like Flame Hammer will consume a charge to significantly increase power. Okay, so as long as I hit things, I can combo together for Flame Hammer to just, like, do extra damage. That's cool. Alright, sweet. It. Yeah, I can see a charge starting to build up right there. So you can see it's like <clears throat> starting to fill up. So I wonder if I save up this. Uh, oh, my weapon does it, and I even without the ability. That's cool. Where is he? Oh, there he is. So like maybe I can save up charges to do an extra powerful attack against a difficult boss or something like that. My mighty wrench. We're gonna try to save a, a charge if I can. Or does it think it might decay over time as well? So maybe it's only an in-fight thing. Thanks. So far I have not been particularly challenged by this. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, charge does a lot more damage. <laughs> so, the charge is actually incredible. I don't know if you saw that, but it was explosive. I'm gonna wait till we get another charge and I'll show you again. Oh, okay, we got a charge. I mean, we got a, a troll by the looks of it. See how much more it does? Crazy. Man, I can't wait to get into a long fight and just have like five charges or something. It's silly. Hmm, a pepper box. What can I do with a pepper box? Oh, it's a gun. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Light boots. My boots are socketed. 
mighty light pants, which are much better than my regular old light pants. Um, and I didn't want to switch out to my sword because, well, my hammer seems cooler. Locked. Locked. You were serious about it. That's rude. Maybe I can find a key for that somewhere. Can I get up there, or is that just an area they jumped down from? You know? Oh! Get a mopple. My life. I thought those rat ratlins had me number for sure. Uh, select item reward so I can choose something, huh? 30 damage per second. Which is better than mine, technically. It's still not a wrench. Mighty light boots. Which give me health and attribute. Or a varmint stub. Pet tags can only be worn by pets. The pole arm does sound cool. Um, what should we do? What should we do? But I like my wrench. I'm sticking with the wrench. We're gonna get a tag for my dog. Um, yeah, okay. Tag for the dog. That means I can click on the pet panel. Right there. Perfect. Maybe we should try out a gun for a little quick just to see what it's like. Might be kind of cool. We'll give it a shot anyway. It appears I'm still holding my wrench. Even though I... Oh, I can't... I can't wield it. It's too... It requires too much dexterity for me. Man, I love that. Look at my big two-handed melee weapon. Actually, it does hit everything in front of me, which is good, because... It feels like a lot of games are like, you know what, your giant two-handed weapon hit the, um, it hit the little mouse in front of you, actually, and not the enemy. You know, that little field mouse right there? Yeah, that one. That's what you hit. Doesn't feel good. Just... Use a charge. No, oh, he ran away. Oh, I got him anyway, because it's a charge. Nice. And I was hoping to find a key to that or something. Have I explored everything? I'm missing a little area down there. Let's go check that out. I don't know if this is going to be like the level 3 where, um... I don't know. I'm hoping the exploration is similar because that's one of my favorite things in the other games. Is the ability to explore. Infernal one. Are you here just because it's... Oh, hey. Goldan. Not at all like Gul'dan at all. It's Goraldan. Oh, I remember these guys. They were up on the hill. I never swung around back to get them. Glad I did. Glad I did. Ooh, there's a little question mark. Uh, it's just for gotcha. Um, okay. Sweet. Sweet, awesome. Vanquish your guard. You a new recruit? Huh, interesting. Alright, do the Enclave. Unspent skill moments. I have unspent skill points, evidently. I thought I did that. Do I have to save it somehow? I don't see how. Exactly. I, I don't... I really don't see how. Is it... Yeah, because, like... Oh, I spent it. That, that's what's up. Okay, done. Gotcha. I understand. Not an idiot, State your business. Talk to the Asterian Regents. I 
Extra guard. Ooh. Things are not going well in this world. Mm, the regent. I thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. This alchemist has already come and gone, and it was all I could do to prevent him from entering the enclave. As it was, many Estellians were injured, and since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the alchemist carried on southward toward the Temple Steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Hmm, interesting. What do we want? Hasty hand hand bombard. Two-handed. 51 damage per second. Wow! Level 5 or vitality 25. If I had been upping my vitality, we could have used that. Savage War Club. That is quite a bit more powerful. I don't think I can pass that up, really. Um, but the cannon seems sweet, too. Very slow attack speed. Very slow attack speed. Well, that's what I'm used to. Let's go ahead and get the club. Though I'd love to get the hand cannon. I just can't use it right now, so I don't really see a, a point to having it, I guess. Especially when it seems to do less damage per second than this. And this is a socket. I'm assuming there's gems I can socket into this or something. Like Commander Vale believes that the alchemist might attack the Wellspring Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For what nefarious purpose, I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Scout the Wellspring Temple and determine if the Guardian of Water is in any danger. I accept. You have received a quest. Fishing hole. Waypoint portal. Okay. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. You caught nothing. Okay, I can actually catch things there if I'm clever. Or can figure out the minigame. I don't know. Uh, skill respec. No, you only may reclaim last three skill points you've invested. Well, I haven't invested any, so... Okay. Welcome, human. So the Asterians are not human, then they're something else. Blacksmith? Okay. Welcome, friend. Ooh, a place to sell stuff. Fantastic. Do you have a wrench? Please say yes. Traveling staff. I'm just going to look at the little mini icons here, actually, because those big pop-ups are kind of annoying. No, they don't appear to have a wrench. What a shame. Let's go ahead and sell some things. Uh, shift, click to sell. That makes it easy. So we were going to go ahead and um, equip that. I have to sell my wrench. <laughs> There's no point in having it. Plus one physical armor. I, I don't think one is better than the other. Where's the cowl go? Right there. Eh, we'll get the armor. I don't really need agility right now so much. Felling axe, not as good as what I have. Savage chipped axe. It's a one-handed weapon. It's a pretty powerful one-handed weapon, too. But I'm going two-handed, so let's not worry about it. Light boots, light pants, and a broadsword. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, yeah, alright, cool. Wow, this is uh, pretty awesome. State your business. If you're going out to the temple steps, I could use your help. The Sturmhorn. Stembjorn? Sturmbjorn. Okay. Sturmbjorn. Have set up a makeshift smithy there, and they have two blacksmith making suits of armor for wild war beasts they've captured. The, uh, those Sturmbjorn seem to be working on the schemat from schematics, but they keep them under lock and key. Do you think you might be able to get in there and grab the armor schematics? We do not like the Stambion, eh, evidently. Evidently we don't. Um, and from this I could get a... Good things all around by the looks of it, so let's do that. 
you have a new quest. Waypoint portal, we'll check that out in a second. I'm wondering if there's like a skill trainer and that's how I need to learn new abilities. Kind of like in World of Warcraft. Or how World of Warcraft used to be. I, I am at your service. They may have changed it by now. Um I haven't seen anything look like a trainer. Current location, Asterian Conclave. There's no other locations available. Okay. That's fine with me. Uh, we're going to go through the portal here, and we're going to end here pretty soon. Um, yeah, okay, so it tells me my quests are in this area, too. That's kind of nice. That's pretty sweet. Alrighty, I don't know where it saves, but I'm assuming... Can I just save? No. Also, I love how everything you do, like, zooms in, and I think that's kind of fun. Alright, let's go beat some things up. I'm going to keep this episode going for another five minutes or so. Oh, hello. No hope. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them out here. Come on, kids. You really don't want to fight my dog. Mama is vicious. Okay, so having more charges does not actually increase the power of it, things. It just allows me to use more powerful ability several times in a row. Die! You have gained a level. You have gained a level. I hope it saves this then, because that would be cool. This is actually a lot of fun. Ooh, I want to get up to that thing. So all the skeletons first, though. Don't want to leave them here. Can I just hold down my weapon if it doesn't kill him right away? So far everything just dies. Alrighty. I want to get up to that big skull thing. Okay, it's over there. Kill that skeleton real quick before we head up. I am the most fearsome of engineers. One good flame strike takes care of that pretty well, though. <laughs> Ghastly shoulders. All right. Three physical armor has a socket set. Ghastly. No, oh, there's a set. Sweet. Replace my cowl. You know, I've not found a helmet yet, but that seems typical. Um. I feel like there's got to be a place to get new abilities, right? Because, like... Yeah, I don't know where I get those. Oh, well. I'm sure I'll figure it out later. Dexterity. We want more dexterity. So we've been going on focus. We're magic. Let's go ahead and use our... Five points in strength. Good. Yeah? Yeah. Locked in now. Right hand weapon, nada. Left hand, oh, excuse me, other way around. Left, left hand, nothing. Um, sweet. Okay, did you notice the effect where when I open up inventory streams like that, it actually shifts the focus of the game? Like, if I close this one, the game moves over a little bit so that you're still in the center, which makes a whole lot of sense. 
It's actually very cool. Hey, kids. I have a hammer now. Not very threatening skeletons. I wonder what the Ember Mage is like. Sounds like a cool thing. And a quest. I need your help. <clears throat> you must be the human the other Asterians are speaking of. I am glad to have met you. I have been sent on a quest by Grand Regent Eldrain to here. Unfortunately, the Sturmbjorn have already entered the crypt, and I have been unable to get past them. Can I ask you to attempt to retrieve the scroll? I will wait here in the path of the honored dead for your return. Should you succeed, I will see what I can provide to you. Listen with Wimwint, more fitting to a hero of your stature. Alright, sure. Why not? What do you have? Critter stub? Okay, maybe something better for Mopple. A one-handed sword. Not really my style, but we could switch over. And a shield. You have received a quest. <laughs> you have received a quest. Thank you. Oh yeah. This is very Diablo-y, isn't it? Alright, I think that's what we're gonna call for today. Tune in next time for a little bit of dungeon crawling. Actual dungeon. Probably not actually crawling. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.